Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another Full Game recap. Going to be rolling with the Panthers as my playbook um, and uh, also going to be using the Jets as my defense. Got some comments I want to read to you. Uh, Marshawn, Rowan, I see you've mostly been using a 335 wide. Uh, and I'm really impressed on how good the coverage is. Yeah, I'm using a lot of man coverage um, and actually dropping my linebackers uh, into zones. It's been fairly effective. It catches a lot of people off guard. So I do, um, I, I kind of jumped into the meta. Uh, Mel Myers, can you break down a scheme out of the gun tray open uh, out of the Vikings or Browns playbook? Want to learn non-meta shotgun formation use against cover three? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I've, I've done a lot of gun tray uh, uh, formations. I've got a lot of different plays and setups uh, and schemes out of that. Uh, I'm going to be rolling probably with the Cowboys and also with the 49ers playbook, but I'll go ahead and see if there's any kind of crossover with that. And then finally, Rod X. I like that intro music you play. Um, I, I use a lot of like uh, stuff that's not very popular online. Um, in particular, this intro music that I'm showing, playing right now is uh, from a community game community called Eve Online. And even the users actually go ahead and create their own stuff. I don't play Eve Online. I, I'm not affiliated with that at all. I just I just stumbled onto the music and I thought it was really cool. I thought there was some some, some good stuff to actually have. Now I'm going to be using the Chiefs in this gameplay, going against someone using the Raiders. So this is kind of the inverse of what you've normally seen. Um, I'll share with you. This is a good, good game. This comes down to basically the last couple plays of the game. Uh, right here, um, I'm not able to set up my defense correctly, so I just jump into man coverage. If, if you get a guy that quick snaps you or you're still setting up your defense, jump into man coverage. I'd rather deal with uh, getting beat with man uh, before uh, instead of getting beat trying to make massive adjustments. Uh, right here, I actually go with that 3-3-5 wide defense uh, and basically put my guys out into flat coverages, and he throws, he, he throws directly into it. And this is not a very... It's something to expect out of this guy because you're going to see this guy making a lot of good decisions on offense. Sometimes if you get that quick turnover immediately against your opponent, you can make them definitely pay for it, especially if your offense is ice code. So right here, I actually jump into my cover four shell that I like to use. And look at this. This guy he takes off of this quarterback. He was not afraid to run with Carr, and that's what where his offense became very challenging to stop because uh, if I didn't throw a bunch of people to him, I didn't have actually have a spy, um, he's just going to take off this quarterback. And another thing he did, too, that was very difficult to stop um, defensively to stop him, is that he quick snapped his plays. He ran a lot of stock plays. He didn't, he, and if he did make one adjustment, it was one adjustment. He didn't do a lot of massive adjustments. And as a result, um, I, I didn't have a lot of time to set my defensive setups. And I'll, I'll be very frank with you guys. My, I, I don't, I'm not, my motor skill's not where it used to be, and I, I don't make my adjustments as quick enough. So here's another uh, QB run that actually takes off. I finally shoot the gap. I'm in a double-A gap defense. I shoot the gap and actually get down. And now he's in a, a pistol bunch formation, and he's using one of the money plays that he has set up, but I'm on the wrong defense. I'm in one of my base defenses, and there's a defense that I've actually created for this particular play. And I couldn't remember it. I just completely had a brain fart. He's actually going to come back to it again and actually get um, get a big play out of it. Um, and this is the one thing I can tell you guys. If you um, you want to be a better manner player, don't put yourself in a situation where you're at a disadvantage. Even if you under, have a defense to stop a certain play, put those things up on the wall. If you can put stuff on your wall that's going to help you, that was what I was thinking right after that play. Uh, is like, man, I should have had that defense. I should have had something up in the wall so I can actually access now, I was going to be using the weak uh, close formation, and in particular, I wanted to spam that inside run, but the way he was setting up his defense, uh, he was shifting his defense, and that outside linebacker was just basically coming down and actually shutting down that inside run. So it basically, it kind of uh, it mitigated one of the offenses that I wanted to run. Right here, I'm just using one of my base plays with a levels concept. I drop, I drop it down because he was playing a lot of over-the-top coverage. Here, um, I actually do a makeshift screen off to the right-hand side. I didn't want to run to the left because I got smoked by that linebacker. So I'm just going to look to the running back and try to turn it up. But look at no blocking right there. My, my fullback, which is which is a running back at Bell I actually put in there, does not pick up his block. He's supposed to go outside, and as a result, it gets behind the eight ball. So right here, I'm, I'm a little bit scrambling. Fourth and two situation. Uh, his guys are actually not getting picked up by any of my blocking. I go into basically curls. I'm looking to Watkins uh, for the quick read. I've got a streak, the slant underneath it. 
He follows the slant. The, the curl's actually covered up, so I forget. I got Mahomes. Mahomes has got some really good wheels, uh, and actually he will actually get yourself uh, a, a first down. So right here, um, I'm looking for the spot by the tight end. He's actually sitting on top of it, and then I actually drop it down to the flat off the left side. So this guy actually had really good user. He wasn't just randomly running around in different areas. He, he would sit and take away a wide receiver and let me make my second read and then bounce to the next read with his user. So this guy was really, really smart. Try to hit him um, with the levels concept of the running back and the, and, the, and the slant of the wide receiver, but his edge defender came off, beat my uh, elite tackle, and he puts me in a situation where it's a third and long situation, And but I pop him right in the seam with my cover two, cover three beater, and I've got a tough uh, uh, takedown with the, with, the, with the ball, which is a good thing. Now I actually hit him with the counter on this particular play, and as a result, I'm able to go ahead and get a nice big run. Uh, he doesn't set up his defense. Now he's got his defense completely spread out. Uh, so this guy's actually playing a pretty unique defense, and he knows how to use it correctly. Linebacker right there takes it. I'm able to go and pop it over with Mahomes' arm and actually get myself a touchdown. So up 14 to 7, 55 seconds left. Can't give up a big play. Right there, I give up a big play. My defender's right there. I actually, he, he quick snapped me, and I was, I was trying to make adjustments, and as a result, I got myself out of position. And my guys, I kept, my defender was always constantly flipping, my, my user defender was flipping uh, into different positions. And what I was doing wrong on defense is I wasn't getting onto my user correctly before I made adjustments. I was making my adjustments right away, and that was actually put me at a disadvantage. And I also had, I think I had like a mana lion on it with my defense. So the way I was running my defense, it wasn't the right set. So back, back to the 3-3-5 three, three, wide defense. I don't think I had it set up correctly. He actually passed me the scene. Uh, there was a good uh, uh, a route development off the left that I had to be in that area or he was going to pop me in either one of the seams. So I had to pick my poison and he made the right read. So this guy's reads were pretty ice cold. Outside of that one read that he made, they were out, ice cold. Right here, phenomenal read. He actually gets through the ball fairly quickly. Now I go ahead and spy, uh, actually do cubic contain. I got my guys dropping back into the zones right here and he's going with an empty set and uh, he rolls off this quarterback car and I'm going to send the dogs after him, make sure I stay up. And look at this, thing. this guy gets up to the five yard line. So here's the adjustment I'm making. I'm actually going ahead and take my curl flats, my hook flats, putting them at five yards. I'm going to put them right at the goal line and say, you throw over me, throw in the back of the, uh, of the field. He's got Mariota and it's his quarterback and he's basically waiting for the defense to get broken down and actually throw it in. So this guy knew what he was doing. This guy was not a bum at all uh, as far as his reads decision making he basically had access to a lot of the meta plays um, and he jumped to certain plays so he, he had a pretty wide playbook here's another block shed I just could not get that run off his that one guy was just shooting the gaps completely and this is a bad decision I have more leverage was off to the right I decided to run the ball to the right and then I try to cut it back to with his left defenders and as a result I get myself in a third and, and ten situation so that is not necessarily what I want to do now, I'm going to go and jump into this cross play, uh, basically looking for the whip and also that cross in the back high, uh, backside, Tar uh, Tariq actually possession catches. I just wanted to catch it and get a first down, work the clock down as much as possible. Back to the counter again, I probably could have kicked it out a little bit wide. I try That hole is typically there. I, if I went a little bit wider, I probably got some more yards. Now here's a cross play. This is a, the play action post shot very popular play I'm going to show him the seam route that I've show, shown him before and then uh, I'm going to look for the, sh the, the play right there throw the ball early if I would let a split second more I would have probably completed that so back to this particular play which is the whip route off the right hand side I've got the crosser on the back side I hit the whip and throw right next to this user I get away with one with Mahomes and with Hill so first intense situation I got Hill in the slot I slide him over and right here I actually take a shot uh, aggressive catch and come down with it. So one of the great things of playing with these elite wide receivers is they make those tough catches and they come down with it. Hill is only 5'10", blazing fast. If he catches it and, he, and he's, he's, he racks it, it's pretty much over with. You're going you're gonna to get a touchdown. So it's actually great to have. So uh, second attempt situation, he blew up my, my, my um, draw play. That draw play should be very effective. Counter blown up. So this guy is just eating his, his defensive line, which I've used the Raiders before. The way he played his defense, I had a hard time running the ball against his defense. I had, uh, the shootout, uh, I had a shout out to this guy as far as his defense is concerned. He showed me cover two previously. I actually see the running back late, and as a result, I get popped, and I'm not able to go ahead and get a first down. So the smart thing to do here is to settle for the three points. Don't go for it. 
when you're in scoring territory and the score is tied, you always want to go through the three points because that puts you in a position that if they score and you, you get the last possession, you can go ahead and win the game. So right here, he jumps back in his many play. I don't have it set up correctly. He throws right over my defender, actually catches it, and Ruggs is off with his 98 speed to get into the end zone with a one-play touchdown on the next drive to take the lead. So here I am. Uh, you know, I'm thinking to myself, okay, this guy can score just as quickly as I can. I got to be very conscious of it. I'm going to go and try to milk, milk the clock a little bit, use a base play, pick up about three yards. Now I'm going to go back to this particular play right here uh, with the streak. I, the streak was open. I actually missed it uh, in the middle of the field. The way he was bumping my guys, it was messing up my reads a little bit. I wasn't I wasn't used to seeing my guys get shoved off, but that was a one play touchdown opportunity. He showed me cover two on the previous play, so I've got to check down with the running back underneath, and I'm actually going to throw it right over the middle. But somehow Kelsey got pulled off with that good play. So. I'm actually jumping into a different play. This this is not a part of the formation I really wanted to work, but he's showing me cover two in the last couple of plays. He actually jumps into cover three. I'm able to go and hit Hill over the top. Perfect throw by, uh, by uh, Mahomes and actually go ahead and put the ball into the end zone to go up by a score. So now it's all about my defense and stopping him. He's a strong, close guy. You know, basically going to go in and run the ball. He does a little dive play. I'm able to go ahead and tackle him right there for, for only a four-yard gainer. That's not the type of uh, type of runs that people want to use. They want to get five or six yards per run. So if you start start stopping people to, to maybe one or two yards or four yards, they'll usually check out of it. So now I actually jump into man coverage. He sees it correctly. He takes a shot up top, but my defender is over the top of it. He's able to go and slap that ball down. Fourth and seventh situation, I think I'm in a different defense. I think I'm in the hole one blitz. I'm in a wrong defense. I couldn't snap out of it real quick, and he hits me with a quick snap play. So this guy was quick snapping stock plays on money downs, so I had no time to set up at any kind of elaborate defense. Uh, so that was the thing, and that's something you probably want to consider doing in your game planning is that on money downs, go ahead and use a quick snap play. If you, if you have a stock play that you can run and get really good yards, use that. Uh, and money down, so you don't have a you don't 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 allow your opponent to actually get into a good a good defensive set. So right here, I actually go ahead and tackle one guy right there. Uh, he's just sharp. He's just carving up my defense in this type of situation. Now I actually don't have my defense set up clearly. Completely whiffed the tackle. I'm in the backfield, and he actually just he just moves off to the left. I go to the right um, in that type of situation. So now look at my my, my zones are all mixed messed up, mixed up, and I'll uh, mess up, and I have to go into my defense and change it out and go to base. Now he goes into the weak uh, uh, close formation. This is a formation that just recently broke down. I've got basically a cover through shell in this type of situation. He goes into play action. This is a, a wheel play. The, 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 the wide receiver sticks over here. This is a really cool play. He sticks over there in the middle of the field. I had to carry with the with the levels concept, and as a result, uh, he gets a first down. So here's my adjustment. I'm going ahead and taking my curl flats. I'm taking my my, uh, my, 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 my my yellow zones. I'm dropping them 10 yards. I'm putting them right at the line uh, of the, the red zone, uh, the red zone line. Uh, I want to let him say, you can take anything underneath, but you're not going to hit anything in the senior like that. My guys are going to be falling back in the zone. He actually runs the ball. I get really good run defenses, split the gap, and actually get in the backfield and stop it. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust my my, uh, my my flats, put them at a 15. I probably should have kept them at 10 uh, in this type of situation, but I'm going to go back to the nickel defense. I'm going to jump in the cover to sink as my defense. So I'm just going to say, hey, I'm going to defend the goal line. You're going to have to throw underneath it or try to squeeze something above it. And, you know, David Carr is not the best quarterback, but it's pretty good. I got contains out, so I want to make sure he doesn't run it. He actually drops it down to the underneath. And see, he only picked up one yard, so the defense is working from him. So this is a really good defensive thing that this you should do. I picked this up uh, from watching Cody Ballard's games, that when you get into the red zone, just protect the, the goal line uh, and let your opponent make reads and make adjustments and try to throw it back. And he tries to throw it back right there. Ward's able to go and pick him off, and I get a victory against a good player. This guy was a really good player. Um, you know, of course, we, I misread, he misreads, but for the most part, this guy was really good. So, once again, guys, thank you for your support. I'll be rolling out more offensive and uh, defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So, if you're new to my channel and you like this content, make sure you hit subscribe. And until next time.